unexpected. Philippine Navy able to modernize more of its warships with South Korean support. The Philippines' long-standing plan to modernize its naval forces is moving closer to realization, with South Korea's defense industry supplying the Philippine Navy with six warships, including two new frigates and four corvettes, two of which are under construction. The upgrades will help the Philippines defend its maritime territory against encroachment by the People's Republic of China's PRC's forces, analysts said. We have already come a long way in our modernization, and with this additional acquisition, we are steps closer to a more capable fleet, Philippine National Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana told reporters after Manila ordered two corvettes from South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries in late December 2021. The U.S. $554 million acquisition will equip the Philippine Navy with anti-ship, anti-submarine and anti-air capabilities, Lorenzana said. With a top speed of 25 knots and a range of 4,500 nautical miles, 8,300 kilometers, each 116-meter long corvette will feature eight anti-ship missile launchers, a 35mm close-in weapon system, a 76mm main cannon and two three-tube torpedo launchers, according to Hyundai Heavy Industries. The vessels, which will also be equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar system, are to be delivered by 2026. South Korea donated the Pohang-class Corvette BRP Conrado Yap, pictured, which was previously used by the Republic of Korea, ROC, Navy, to the Philippine Navy in 2015. According to the Foreign Policy Research Institute, FPRI, a United States-based think tank, Another used Pohang-class vessel is due to arrive in the Philippines in 2022. Two guided missile frigates built by Hyundai Heavy Industries for the Philippine Navy entered service in 2020 and 2021, FPRI reported. The Jose Rizal-class frigates are equipped with specialized missile launchers and can accommodate an upgraded 8-cell, vertical launch system for anti-ship missiles. The multirole frigates mark a significant step in Manila's naval modernization, defense analyst Joshua Espina wrote in an October 2021 report for Australia's Asia and the Pacific Policy Society. Other important acquisitions for the Philippines include platform landing docks, multi-purpose attack craft, MPAC, and offshore patrol vessels. The Philippine Navy also added firepower in 2020 when it installed the Israeli-made, extended-range Rafael Spike Ur surface-to-surface missile system on its fleet of 12 MPACs. Manila's efforts are partly propelled by the PRC's unauthorized activities within Philippine waters, Espina wrote, including the 2012 Scarborough Shoal standoff in which Chinese surveillance ships blocked the Philippine Navy from detaining Chinese vessels illegally fishing within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EEZ. Additionally, in March 2021, more than 200 Chinese-flagged trawlers crewed by the PRC's maritime militia anchored illegally in Philippine waters, the BBC reported. The move violated a 2016 international court ruling rejecting Beijing's claims to those waters. A modern Philippine Navy, one that is integrated and prepared for multi-domain warfare, would help establish national authority over the country's EEZ, Espina wrote, and contribute to upholding the rules-based regional order.